Today I'm going to create a sunset painting with my most favorite medium that is acrylics. So let's begin. So for this I will require a canvas that is 6 inch by 8 inch, some acrylic colors and brushes. To mix the colors I use a ceramic plate. This is a very easy to you know to clean and it is very easy to use. So this is my most favorite. I use this ceramic plate to mix the so first I'll work on my background. So the first color I'm going to use is lemon yellow and vermilion. Once the yellow and vermilion background is done, I'm going to use deep magenta. So this color is not in my set. I just bought it from separate from the art store uh, because this deep magenta is my most favorite and this really looks good for the sunset painting. So that is why I've used here. So I have created a basic background for my painting. So once this is done, I'll start drawing the mountains, the trees, the sun, whatever I want to create, the basic structure so that I know what step I have to take next. As I always lose my patience, so I just draw immediately when the color is still wet. So it is okay, you can just wait for some time to to let your colors dry otherwise you can ju just start immediately. The main focus of this painting is gonna be the clouds. So I am going to work more on my clouds. So right now I am just taking some crimson red and some white and yellows okay. So you can just see how you can uh, enhance your clouds by using all these colors. You can experiment with different colors like lemon yellow, crimson red and vermilion and with some deep magenta and keep experimenting and create your own style of clouds and put out all your creativity and see the magic and just see how it's going to come up.
This is what I have learned in acrylic painting. Like for example, I have created a dark background for my painting like deep magenta. So if I want to add more details to it, I'll use the lighter version of the color. For example, I will use white with deep magenta and, and, and then I'll start using this color for detailing. So this is this technique is very easy and you can use in every painting and see the result. This will really help you a lot. And then you can just keep adding the clouds, the details, you can just go on and complete the whole entire sky with all this deep magenta, light magenta with white or yellow. So you can just create small, small, small clouds and more details and complete the entire sky. Now I'll start doing the sun with white color and later on I'll do it more brighter once this white color is dry. wait for my sun to dry so I will start doing the mountains with black so I'm using a lamp black color and I'll fill the entire mountain with black because this is a sunset painting and I have to show there is it is a night scene so the entire mountain I'm going to do it with black Below the mountain, I just want to show the water area so that there I'm going to use some white lines to show the water.
as i said i'll make the sun little more bright using white and yellow so you can use some yellow and white and just make the sun little bright So she is my daughter and she is always interested to pick up all my colors brushes and uh, you know she just come with me and just explore the colors she is only 15 month old by the way so let's come back to the painting so i just want to create a coconut tree so i'm going to use a black color and create the coconut trees with it so you can use a very thin brush so that you can just get the fine lines and create a beautiful coconut trees with this so you can just see when i am just creating in front of the sun it is looking so beautiful and so amazing it is just lovely to watch it i would say don't make it in a straight line you can just make some tall trees and some small trees so that it looks very pretty and beautiful don't do it in a same line whenever you create anything in in one line doesn't look good so you can just make it little random and just make some big trees and small trees and this will definitely add beauty to your painting and i know whenever we are creating this thing like all these details when we add all these details we are very conscious so better you can just practice on a small paper or something and then you can just try it on your main canvas and for this i would say there are many brushes which are readily available in the market so you can just make a fine line so you can just explore in the market and just buy a very thin brush which will help you to create a very fine lines i hope you like this video and this is how the entire painting looks like Hi guys do like share and subscribe my new video and acrylic painting is my most favorite ye bahut easy medium hai and you can use all the dark colors first and uske baad you can just use the light colors and if you make any mistake you can rectify so there is no such you know, you can have the fear so fear and belief is to put side mein rakhiye we can just go to the floor or enjoy and be pure and see the magic acrylic is the most easiest thing just you can add more details so that So this is the only tip you can use. उसको और beautiful करने के लिए बहुत सारे details की